Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to thread a rod, do an out external threads. Um, we already did the internal threads with the tapping, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to use a die. So I'm going to go through the whole process, probably starting with um, just doing a little bit of a taper on the end with your, um, your bench grinder. That way when we start putting the die on, it takes a little bit easier, okay? Um, we're going to start there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to walk you through the whole lab. That way you can go ahead and in turn complete it. The lab is to get a 5 8 rod that is, I believe, 11 threads per inch. Yeah, I believe it's 11 threads per inch and we're going to make it 3 inches long. So it's going to be pretty much a little stud. So I'm just going to take my 5 8 rod that has that taper already ground into it and I'm going to lock it down into our vise here and I'm going to get a good nice hold. Some of the things that we're going to be using are going to be our oil. This should just be a rapid tap oil. Um, we use this in the machine shop. If you, We should have two or three of these little cup things laying around. There should be a brush in there too. I'm going to use a die handle and I'm going to use a die. Now, notice on the die that there is these little knobs on the outside. Those are where it should line up to these screws to hold it in place because we're going to be spinning it on this rod. Uh, also, make sure you look at it, and it's kind of hard to see on, on here. Let me see if I can get it close to the camera. But some of the threads are a little bit more tapered going in than the other side. So that would be the side that you want to start with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it into the tool. Tighten down these screws, just like so. Apply some oil to this end here, making sure that it's fully coated. I'm going to place the die up to the end. I'm gonna apply pressure, and I'm gonna start spinning it. You can see that it's starting to grab. I'm going to make sure I keep applying oil. And after I've got about a cut or two, I'm gonna go and break the chips off, and then I'm just gonna slowly keep working it, moving back every eighth of a turn to cut the chips off, keep reapplying oil, move back, move back. And I'm just going to keep doing this process until I have three inches of clean threaded rod, okay? So I'm going to go through that a little bit faster. I'm just going to keep measuring the distance of threaded rod here until I get my three inches and then I'm going to put it onto the bandsaw and cut it. After a while this die could get hot so you might need to let it sit and cool for a second. So like I said, I'm just taking my ruler constantly measuring up here making sure I've got about three inches. Right now I'm there so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull my my die and die handle off, everything should come back off very easily because now it's threaded. Just be careful you don't drop this on the floor trying to get it off. Whew, it's a little warm, so be careful. You can actually feel the warmth in into my handles here. So just be very careful, take it slow, you got nothing but time. If we take our if we take our ruler here and we just measure three inches back, you can see I have oops. I have about almost four inches. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go into the bandsaw, cut this off. I'm going to probably take a, the take the bench grinder and just go ahead and take the burrs off the front and off the back, and I'm I'm done with this lab. Okay, so I measured out my three inches down here, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this off. Be careful working with a round object and make sure it's really tight inside that vise, otherwise it'll wanna catch and spin. 
Okay, so now I've got my three inch part. All I'm gonna do is take it over to the bench grinder and just get these burrs off the end. And then we're gonna try putting a nut on it and just make sure that there's no junk in the threads and we'll be good to go. All right, so now that I've got my ends all ground up, my part is down to size, all I'm gonna do, take some WD-40, spray it off, that way that there's no junk in those threads, and just get it cleaned up. We're gonna wipe it off with a rag, and then we're gonna go ahead and test fit our 5 8 nut. So all I did was I grabbed this nut out of the um, nut bin over there, and should be able to just thread on Nice and easy. There we go. All right, so that's uh, that's the whole lab for the die cutting stuff. Um, you're welcome to keep this part. This is actually pretty pretty neat in the end. Um, otherwise, we'll be done 